Hi, welcome back to Waxing On. Friday, we're wrapping up Billy Joel week here on the show. Um, we looked at a number of albums already, and that little block from where I felt his breakout was in The Stranger, and we're going down to one of the ones that was my favorite game was Innocent Man. Now, this is uh, another one produced by Phil Ramone and a lot of hits coming out of these. Phil Ramone and Billy Joel really worked well together and cranked out some really great music. I'm just going to read you a little bit about this album. They considered it a concept album and here's what they had to say about it. It said the concept album is a tribute to American popular music of Joel's adolescence with Joel paying homage to a number of different and popular American musical styles from the late 50s and early 60s. Most notably doo-wop and soul music. So that was the outline of what we were looking at. Uh, the kind of people he was performing or paying homage to. Uh, James Brown, Wilson Pickett, you got Benny King, the Drifters, um, Little Anthony and the Imperials, the Supremes, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, Sam Hook, Cook, sorry Sam Cook, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard, all of these great uh, performers, and he's done songs in certain styles to kind of pay tribute to them. Now, the album itself was, I thought, really classic. It was one of the times we've got a soundtrack song on here that Billy Joel did for the movie Easy Money with Rodney Dangerfield. So, and that was one of the great tunes on here, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Let's just look at who he's got playing with him on this set. We've got, of course, Billy Joel, uh, Liberty DeVito's back on drums. We've got Doug... Stegmeyer on bass, David Brown on guitar, Russell Jabers on uh, guitar, and Mark Riviera on saxophone. So we changed it up a little bit, new sax player in here on these. But he added a lot of session players for some of the songs. Now, Easy Money is one of the ones that you can hear. It's just some of the great session players from New York in here. And uh, we got Ralph McDonald on percussion. Well, he's appeared on a couple of Billy Joel's. Uh, Leon Pendervis on organ on Easy Money. And you remember Leon from Saturday Night Live Band, Richard T, Eric Gale, Toots Thielman on harmonica and Leave a Tender Moment Alone. And again, Toots is a, a well-known name. We've got John Faddis, a fabulous John Faddis playing trumpet. And like I say, on Easy Money, you can hear those horns. I don't even know how they count that. It is just such crazy rhythms they're playing in there. John Faddis, we've got David Sanborn on saxophone. We've got Michael Brecker on tenor saxophone. We've got John Gatchel on trumpet. I mean, there's just so many great players on here. And like I say, the Easy Money song was one of my favorites just because of all the, the background brass and the saxes. And like I say, it was a very complicated rhythm they were playing. I don't know how they got their head around that one, but great job, guys. Let's take a look at the tunes on here. And a lot of them will be very familiar to you. A lot of them showed up on the special we talked about earlier in the week. And again, if you get a chance to see that, don't miss out. Uh, obviously Easy Money, right, we just mentioned that one. Uh, An Innocent Man, The Longest Time, more of a doo wop type tune. We've got This Night and Tell Her About It. Now, these were a lot of them off singles as well. So Tell Her About It, Innocent Man, Longest Time, those, those showed up a lot on the radio play. We've got Uptown Girl, another big single. Careless Talk, Christy Lee, Leave a Tender Moment Alone. An homage to Smokey Robinson and Keeping the Faith. There was great tunes in there. There's some great memories in there. To me, it was the last real album I bought that had a lot of the hits or a lot of the ones that I was interested in. I realize he put a lot of albums out uh, since then, but this was the last one I had. I picked it up on cassette. That's why we're using the the picture in picture for this because if you've been watching the show for any length of time you know my cassettes have gone missing in action. If I ever find them there'll be another year's worth of shows right there so maybe this summer. Um, if you've enjoyed the Billy Joel show check out all of his albums. I mean he's just a great performer. Uh, these are just three of the ones that I had purchased that really resonated with me and that I listened to a lot. I'm still streaming some of them right now since I don't have Obviously my cassettes, I got some of the CD players, but I'll tell you it's getting harder to find computers with CD players in them. Harder still, so we're back to streaming. And if you saw a post uh, on the Facebook not too long ago, Jimmy Page on there going through the album saying, you know, this uh, new digital wave, it doesn't have the depth that the albums had, and it's true. When I listen to some of these things, 
I'm not getting the full range of instruments. Maybe I'm not playing them through the right thing. I mean, I'm using my phone pushing through the bows and it still doesn't sound like it did on album. So if you get a chance to get the vinyl, grab the vinyl. I don't have any idea about freebies that came with this one only because I didn't have the vinyl album for it. Songs are available on the streaming networks, of course. Hard copies, you can still purchase them, excuse me. <coughs> And again, this falls in that category of albums. And this whole bunch we've talked about this week, that as we're getting into the springtime, yard sales, driveway sales, uh, thrift stores, these are the kind of things that people are turning in their collections. Unfortunately, it's younger kids turning in their parents' collections, but you know what I mean, right? Get out there, you might be able to grab one at a really reasonable price and have a real treasure on your hands. Billy Joel, one of the legends of my generation. Check him out if you get the chance. You won't be disappointed. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.